um, what is Disney doing with all these uh, movies with uh, all my favorite characters and uh, none of the charm? We've got Dumbo, Aladdin, and uh, the, the worst of them all, the, the Lion King. You know, a movie that's literally aged totally fine is suddenly getting ruined uh, by, 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 by Donald Glover and John Oliver. And just to catch everyone up to speed, The Lion King came out 25 years ago, a quarter century ago. This film is still good. And now with the power of modern science, we're gonna remake the film with realistic depictions of actual, man-eating, terrifying, inexpressive lions. Obviously, this is just a movie so that Disney can make money, but who are they making it for exactly? I wanted to talk about that a little bit, and it's going to apply to a lot of remakes, not just The Lion King, but uh, I just want to talk a little bit about who exactly the movie's for and why exactly it's getting made that way. One idea, and the easiest to come up with honestly, is that the movie is for fans of the original. People who have seen the original 2D animated film and can now take their kids, or you know, themselves, to see how far technology has come in the past 25 years. And this doesn't make sense to me. While I understand the joy of watching something that you enjoyed as a kid, I also don't understand why you'd want to watch a remake of that thing you enjoyed as a kid. Uh, I don't know about you, but I'm hypercritical, and so I'm not only comparing that movie to other movies that are coming out around the same time, but also the original version. Instead of thinking about the film independently, about its quality and its virtues, I'm instead comparing Simba's voice actors in my head, uh, hearing the songs in a different way, um, trying to understand what art style differences that they made and why they made them, and then ultimately come to a conclusion on whether it beats out the original in terms of quality. And of course, the film is going to change. The film is going to have uh, different voice actors, has different writers, a different director, completely different art style, that already is looking to take away a lot of the personality of the original film. And I'm not saying that this movie is like destined to be bad or anything, because I'm going to be comparing it to the original, I'm just saying that when that comparison is made, and in 20 years that comparison is made, it's going to be very different than just having that original solid movie. Now I know what a lot of people are thinking, that the movie's not even necessarily for just the fans of the original, but also for people who haven't seen the original. Uh, kids, young adults, people who weren't alive around the time the original was coming out, or uh, for any of its subsequent uh, DVD re-releases. While I think there is some merit in bringing a new generation into an old story using some sort of modern retelling that would fit modern tastes, I feel that The Lion King didn't need it at all. Let's take Aladdin for example. There's a lot of 90s references that Genie makes that don't make much sense nowadays. But The Lion King doesn't have any of that. It doesn't have any weird 90s references that kids wouldn't get today. It's pretty timeless. The art style has aged fantastically. The characters are great. The story's great. And while that does make a good foundation for a remake, I just feel like because of those reasons, the remake is even less viable, less important. All in all, the movie's still great, and no matter what Disney wants to make me believe, the remake is not going to be the same movie. The art style changes, as well as the actor changes, director changes, writer changes, will affect the movie in some minor and some major ways. It honestly reminds me of the Wind Waker remake, which was completely unnecessary. I'm worried that the same thing that happened to the original Wind Waker will happen to the original Lion King. Everyone just forgoes it for the new remake, robbing themselves of some of that original experience. New audiences are far more at risk of believing that than fans of the original, and I think that's a loss. I wanted to keep this video short, so here are my final thoughts. Despite all these remakes coming out at the expense of the original movie, I hope that we can still hold the original in high regard. I hope that we can encourage people to watch the originals, and not forget them because there's a new hot version out. Let's not let a company's greed muddy what made the original great.